Hello. Today, I feel lucky. I feel lucky to be a part of this graduating class of 2022. I feel lucky to be standing here in front of friends and family, speaking at such an important celebration of learning and achievement. I feel lucky to have been surrounded by the most supportive community during my time at Uxbridge High School. From the office secretaries who quickly became my extended family, to the teachers who inspired my love of learning, to the coaches who pushed me to achieve my dream of playing college soccer, to the lunch staff who slipped extra fries onto my tray at last lunch, you made me feel important and created a learning environment that made me excited to go to school every day. Today, I feel lucky. I feel lucky to attend my high school graduation ceremony because there are so many who cannot. There are so many who won't get the chance to walk across the stage at graduation, shake hands with their principal, and receive their diploma. 11 days ago, a man entered Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, armed with a semi-automatic assault rifle, an AR-15. On that day, 19 fourth graders and two teachers were killed in a school shooting. The story flooded news outlets nationwide, on television, over the radio, on Instagram and Facebook. The story of the Uvalde shooting broke hearts. They were so young, people said. They should have been safe in school. An outpouring of online support shortly followed. A never ending wave of posts beginning with, our thoughts and prayers go out to. White House politicians tweeted their condolences. Some talked about the need for gun reform and some didn't. Some marched, some protested, some mourned in silence and some vowed to make a change. And after all of this outrage, after all of this sadness and heartbreak came nothing, nothing changed. While the rest of the country returned to normality, 19 families struggled to find a way to live with the unimaginable loss of a child. But this isn't an unfamiliar cycle in the United States. After Sandy Hook, we vowed never again. We promised our children they would be safe. We told them we would protect them. And then we let it happen 3,865 more times. Last year, 3,044 chairs sat empty at graduation ceremonies, just like the one we're at today. 3,044 children in the class of 2021 didn't get to walk across the stage at graduation, shake their principal's hand, and receive their diploma. 3,044 children in the class of 2021 died due to gun violence, and so far this year, another 653 children have been killed by guns. After each tragedy, we promise never again. We say this time is different, and then we allow it to happen again, and again, and again. Parents, teachers, community members, and fellow classmates, I ask you today, as the founders of your future, what will be your place in history? Will our future consist of changes that ensure the safety of our children? Will our history remember us as the generation that ended the cycle of thoughts and prayers and began an era of real change? Our nation is a great one, but it is also one plagued with real, tangible issues that require real, tangible solutions. Solutions that lie within the minds of people like you. In a nation where women's reproductive rights are more strictly regulated than guns, we need young voices of reason to be heard in every conversation, every debate, every Supreme Court hearing, and every national caucus. Our generation has the opportunity to write our own place in history. We can choose to define ourselves by proactivity, participation, and progress. We can choose to engage in the hard conversations, the ones about race, gender equality, climate change, and gun control. 
We can choose to break the cycle of division and passivity set in place by the generations that came before us. We can choose to cooperate and collaborate, even when we don't agree, especially when we don't agree. Class of 2022, I know these last four years haven't been easy. You've lived through a global pandemic. You've spearheaded a new way of learning. You've grown in unimaginable ways and endured unimaginable hardships. You've rebuilt yourselves into the people you are today. And as you prepare to leave behind this chapter of your life and enter into a new one, I urge you to ask yourself this question. What is my place in history? What do you want your legacy to be? What lasting impact do you want to leave on the world? Class of 2022, now is the time for your voices to be heard, your goals to be reached, your legacies to be left, and your history to be written. Now is the time of the new generation of change makers, the new generation of pioneers. Now is the time to voice your opinion, start the discussion, engage in the debate, and create the change. Thank you.